Hello everybody and welcome back to Vintage Survival. So to begin with today we're just going to empty the water into the trough. There wasn't really much left. Let's go and refill it. And that should really give the sheep enough water for a couple of days. Uh, then we're going to rest. We've done everything that we need to do as far as I'm aware in October. Uh, and I know many people have been saying, oh you've forgotten about the sugar beets. But I haven't. <laughs> it's alright. I haven't forgotten about the sugar beet. We're still waiting for the best price. It's in the grain silo, or in the silo over at the uh, train station and it's only October the price is best in sort of December January time so there's no point just rushing in and selling it now especially as we don't have a negative figure in the bank accounts I know yeah being close to uh, having no money n never looks good but for this series actually if it's showing a positive number then <laughs> we're doing well um, so yes we'll, we'll keep going We'll keep waiting. We'll move on to November in just a minute. We'll check the price, because the price might be... Sometimes it's early. Sometimes the price is uh, at its best before the chart. Uh, but anyway, let's just borrow some more of this water. Get that refilled. Just takes a second to fill. And we'll get this taken back over to the sheep. Yeah, because I've done the drilling. We've redrilled the fields that we've harvested. Okay, we're tucking close so we get the trigger. As you can see, I've already done a loop, as I was trying to find it before. And yeah, that's for the wall. Uh, the price isn't good at the moment, so that's going to be staying here. We may have to move some though. We don't want to be blocking the trigger. As for the chicken's eggs, yep, that's still uh, building the first one. As for the chicken food, let's just check the chicken food. Yeah, they're fine. Everybody's happy. It's all good. So switch the engine off Before I just go and sleep. Let's just see everything that field is growing. Oh Yes, these fields will need to be sprayed actually Now that can be done next time, but maybe we should do it now because it'd be easier The lower the crop the easier it is to see where we've been It's a very fast job, but we will have to go and buy some fertilizer some liquid fertilizer, which will be quite expensive. In fact, that'd be most of our money. 3,200 pounds. Okay, and then we will have probably a thousand pounds rental overnight. So we will be back into negative figures. But then we'll have the silage to sell. See, there's always something, there's always something to bring a bit more money in, which is what's great. That's because we are running what I would say is really quite a successful small farm. Well, we get by. And getting by is much better than failing. So I'm just wondering, can I bring this back? Can I bring the IBC back without a rear weight? I think I probably can do. I could put the sprayer on the back, but no, I think I have moved it before. Uh, I seem to remember this is a very well-balanced tractor. So let's go and pick it up. And hopefully we won't be returning with two wheels in the air. There it is. The front loader belongs to the John Deere. It was reset a few episodes ago from the farm because it was still over at the farm and it was not ours, so yeah, it belongs here. Anyway, that's fine. It can carry it without any problems at all. So yeah, although it was £3,200 to buy this, it does last for quite some time. I seem to remember before it did last for at least two years, although we do have more land now. But hopefully a year and a half. This tractor does not have row crop tyres on it, which is fairly obvious. Uh, but I think actually we might be able to put the sprayer on the John Deere anyway. So I will just park this here for now. Uh, the John Deere is blocking the sprayer in anyway, so we need to start the engine. Yeah, it's fine. It'll be fine on here. Put some more time onto our tractor instead of the one which is rented. For a full load. That's made that tractor reverse, which is interesting. <laughs> Why would that be? Um, oh, yeah, the grass probably needs to do too, so we probably need to do everything. I wanted to get a grass roller, but um, yes, money is the issue. I think once we've sold the sugar beet, we can do that. Yeah, 
there, so it is probably every field. Let me just see if it is every single field. It is every single field. 31, this field, one and two. We need to spray the entire farm. But once it is done, then that is all of the spraying done in one go. No more to do until we redrill. And that is a piece of field grass, oh sorry, uh, meadow grass, just there. The different colour, so we should probably cultivate that up next time and incorporate that into the arable field. Well, it doesn't really matter. We could put grass seed in or we could put a different cereal crop in. Whatever. But yep, I now have a huge job on my hands and it's just started to rain, which is just delightful. But I'll get this done as quickly as possible so that we can move on. And I will see you in, I would say a minute, I would say we can do this in a one minute time lapse. Well, it hasn't taken too long at all. We have refilled a few times though, but it does only have a capacity of 300 litres, so it doesn't take much uh, to need a, a refill. Let's just see. So I think one more time down the middle, and then we should be done. So after all this, we've got a few little pieces which have been missed here and there, but it's really not significant. They really are very insignificant pieces that have been missed. It isn't worth wasting the fertiliser doing it, because there'll be so much overlap. but that is going to make all the difference to our yield. Brilliant. So can we get it all in one go? Uh, not quite, there's a tiny little bit just there. Okay. That should have got it. Indeed. So we're all fertilized. It's very good to see. Uh, so yeah, we really want to be resting anyway because it's so wet now. There's not much we can do. I don't think we should have even been spraying in the rain, but <laughs> uh, this game doesn't seem to mind too much. All right, we'll put it back in the corner. And we'll see how much fertiliser we have left. I think it's a 2,000 litre IBC, although that's kind of odd because IBCs are usually 1,000 litres. Yep, so we've still got 1,146, so we didn't even use half. That is so good. Uh, in the past, I've just stored them over here. So I'll do that again. There we go. Okay, let's, um, let's go and rest in the house. And I'll see you in the morning. Hopefully, it'll be nice and sunny tomorrow. Looking promising. Very promising. So we're at minus... 680. Um, all those leasing fees, that's what it is all about. Is the pit ready? That's the first thing to check. 92%, so it will be ready this month. If we just rest for a few more hours, it will actually be ready. As for the price of sugar beet, we're looking for 465. And we can actually get more than that 
at Colonia. And the price is decreasing. So, yeah, we well, one of these might go above that, potentially, in a few months. But as that is already higher than this, it makes sense to sell the sugar beet. Because it's so easy to do. It's already all there. All we have to do is request the train, load it up, and sell it. So we will just wait for the train to arrive and that will solve our money problems for today. In fact, it will more than solve them because this, the sugar beet is worth, I think, I, did I calculate it as about 20,000 pounds? How much How much do we have exactly? That might be a bit too high. Um, yeah, well, we'll say 18-ish, hopefully more. Uh, but that, for this series, 18,000 pounds, that is loads. And then we still have all of the silage to sell as well. Uh, yes, the engine stops over here somewhere. The locomotive. It's a blue one. Down go the barriers. And here it is. Right, so it is actually already aligned. Sugar beet, 43,000 litres. You would have thought that would all fit into one. These things aren't exactly small. I can see it all piling up in one place. <laughs> um, but yes, it is all in. There we go. So prepare for a very large amount of income. Wow, look at the traffic. It's building nicely. Four seven seven. Actually, come to think of it, I don't think we could have even emptied. Can you empty the silo again? Like, if we wanted to take it to one of these two places, is it possible to empty the silo back into a trailer, or does it have to go into the train? I would have thought it has to go into the train. So, yeah. Colonia is the only sell point. And this was the time to sell it. So, 20,000. 20,896. That is just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, so, it's all paid off. All that hard work with the sugar beet harvester. And a big thank you again to 4D Modding for providing the incredible sugar beet harvester. Um, right, so we shall rest again and we'll just uh, get it to the point where this is 100% fermented. There we go, nice and easy. We can open it on both sides. There we go. And we need the trailer, which is just over there. We also need to put the bucket back on. And in sort of January time, we'll be selling the straw bales. So there's always going to be some kind of income. Just check the price for silage. 535. Yep, yeah, pretty good. Uh, it's It can go higher, but not by much. It's already very good. So if we can sell this today, then there is a chance that we can even buy another field. Take a few loads to scoop. Um, yeah, I do prefer to unload it or to empty the pit from this side. Just because we don't have that big bump. So if I put that there, that should be alright. Obviously, it's more than one trailer load. Here is the spilt bit from a previous occasion. A thousand litres at a time. And oh, I always forget the capacity of this trailer. I think it's like 9,000, roughly. 
but we'll soon find out. Once it's full, we'll be given the grand total. I think the pit had about 16,000 litres in it, so it should be about two loads. And this should conclude load number one. It's looking full. Ooh, there is still space for a bit more. See if this next bucket load will do it, because it's actually looking quite empty now at the pace. So much has gone into this trailer. I'd expect it to take maybe 100 litres. Or 30. Yes, I thought it was quite full. But we can take a full bucket load as well. Not that we need to, because we're going to be taking another partial load, but it just feels like the right thing to do. So I can now get that attached to the trailer. There we go. And uh, the capacity must be 10,000 because we've got 11,000 in. 1,000 in the bucket. I have tagged it because well, I know the complex, I know exactly where to go, but I don't know the exact trigger. Uh, yes, the trigger is the one that always confuses me. That man didn't look before he crossed the road. What a bad example to set. So it's that trigger, because there is another one further around the corner. But that must be for wall, I think. That must be the spinnery. So we've got 536 for that bucket, because it was slightly over a thousand litres. And then for the trailer, 5,368. Very good. So our grand total now is 26,000. Let's go and get the rest of it, and we'll see what our grand total is going to be. Then I suppose we can have a hunt around for another field. Um, yes, it might not be enough to be able to buy a field. Plus, we need to have enough money left over to cover rental fees. But if, th if there is a field for like £20,000, that would be so good. Let's reload. Oh, crikey, rush hour. Oh, don't stop there. Oh, if only they had brains. It's like they're zombies. Right, I'm going to go in front of you because you have no brain. You can't beat insulting the AI traffic. Right, okay, so this really won't be many loads, I don't think. There's a swarm of bees behind the tractor. It's our beehive. Yeah, probably only four more loads. Have you spotted the amazing coincidence? That is just unbelievable. If you look at the fill gauge, we have 4,444 litres in the trailer, which is 44% full. That's a lot of fours. Many fours. Right. Almost a shame to get rid of it. I don't think I've ever achieved such a figure there. Uh, right. Off it goes. 30,000, please. Nope. <laughs> Not even close. Um, 2,379 bringing our total to just less than 28,500 so can we afford a new field or should it be kept for buying the tractor or something we can buy field number 4 
Uh, yeah, we don't need to buy those. 15, yeah, 15 is possible. 16. They're actually not those numbers. 9, 8, and 14. How much is this one here? That must be so expensive. 275. Yeah, we'll always be sticking in this sort of area. But maybe maybe 14, it's... Oh no, that's a bit too high. 15? 25,000? Yeah, the potential is there to go for either 15, 16, or 4. Let's go and take a look at them and see if it is wise to buy one now. Like if they have a fully grown crop in, which is also fully fertilised, then it's probably worth getting them. Or, or getting one. We can't get all of them. Okay, so they are behind this farm, or these farms. How many farms are there here? They're like small holdings. Uh, if I just pull over... Yeah, we'll park here. Let all this traffic go. Look at all this traffic. I'm sure it's getting busier. There's more and more cars every time we do an episode. So, um, yes, which field are we in? This is the one we can't afford. Okay. So just around the corner are the two that we can afford. This one here, not fully grown, and this one here, but they do have crops in. So those two are both possibilities. Um, in fact, I think I already harvested this one here as a contract. Yes, I did. Yep. Uh, which was easy to access. There is a track that goes around the back of there. So they're not bad fields. But 14 is on our side. So if we owned that one as well, we could then in the future buy three and then have a huge plot. But maybe it would be more interesting to go this way. So, yeah, I don't want to spend too much money. So I think 16, which is also 9, uh, is the one to go for. Oh, also it's been fully fertilised, so that is the one to go for. It's a soybean crop. So let's go for it. Let's go west. Let's buy it. £22,000. So th there you go. You can see everything that we own. It's looking good. Maybe we should now, instead of going north, we could go with these ones here next. And that's left us with just less than £5,000, which is going to be handy. We, we do need it. Um, we'll have the straw bales to sell soon. We've got wool to sell, uh, a few chicken eggs. So, yeah, there's definitely some money to come in soon. And then not forgetting, of course, the next crops from the fields which we've just fertilised. All of the crops from these fields. And there we go, look. We've got three pallets now of wool. This is looking really good. Very healthy. Do they still have a bale? No, they don't. Okay, so we'll bring the bale across. And then next time we cut this field here, it will be hay. Hay for the sheep. Uh, I'll just take this trailer off here. I'll put the front loader forks back on. It's a shame they don't want straw, really, because we have so much straw. Okay. There we go. Uh, the bale which I'm going to pick up is in the left of the shed. Just in here. It's in the trailer. It's now not in the trailer. <laughs> I, I must have put it in there uh, to get more space. Because we do still need more shed space. Uh, but yeah, the um, pallets of wool, that is looking really, really good. So th this bell can just go here. And they can consume it as they require it. It does take it from inside the uh, shed itself, which is a very nice feature. Gives me more space out here. So I think, yeah, we'll just move these three pallets of wool out of the trigger, so there's always going to be space for more to spawn. And then we can wait for the best price for the wool, and then we can sell it. Currently we've got 2,542. Uh, we can get up to three and a half in May, so it's a bit of a wait. But, well, we can probably still sell before the best time, it's just we can get more than what we currently are being offered. And, yeah, it's not really a great place to store them. We do need another shed. I've said that a few times now. <laughs> we do need another shed. 
well, it doesn't affect them outside in this game, so they'll just have to go there. conclude by feeding the chickens. I don't think they need as much as what I've just picked up, but I don't know what they need, so we'll just pick up as much as we can do and put it in. Okay, uh, is that still going? It does start to spill. So it looks like they've taken 300 litres, maybe. We can pop this back in the pile. They still have their scratching pole, which they look to be enjoying, actually. There are two hens on that right now. And we'll just have a final check. The sheep look happy. The chickens look happy. That's good to see. Uh, we may have to sell some more chickens soon. But we'll leave it here for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.